Welcome back. Your Daily Dose on I-24 News, Friday, March 3rd, 2017. Now, they may not have been alive when the last peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians was signed, but a group of young Israeli and Palestinian students managed to do what their elders have been unwilling or unable to do, merely just meet. They spent two grueling days together in a simulated peace conference working to finalize a deal acceptable to both sides. Were they successful? Our own I-24 News' Tracy Alexander has the answer. A decades-long conflict no political leaders have yet managed to solve. Okay, so they can, okay, they can go back to Palestine. Yeah. But, oh. but these 45 teenagers from Israel, the Palestinian territories and dozens of other countries have been charged with the task of forging a peace deal in less than two days. There was a lot of shouting, a lot of emotions. Sometimes people just stood up and went away and said, OK, I don't want to talk about it. It's too much. The simulation is led by Dr. Sapir Handelman, an expert in peace and conflict resolution. He set just two guidelines, not to demean others and not to enter an historical debate upon the origins of the conflict. Israeli think this way and Palestinians have their own narratives. To go to a frustrated debate, who start to, who did, and it's, it's dead end. We have a problem that we both of us have to solve. This force you to be constructive. Half of these students come from abroad, their perspective playing a critical role. You see that the international getting the same difficulties that Israelis and Palestinians. And sometimes, you know, international, since you're an entrenched in a conflict, you look like this. But when someone else comes and look like this, he can come with ideas that people, Israelis and Palestinians, Palestinians do not see it. Oslo agreements didn't succeed completely, but after politicians said, OK, we will divide the area A, B and C, it actually started working and over time people get used to it. So the problem is not finding the solution, the problem is introducing the solution despite the reluctance of people. The Palestinians and Israelis each make up a quarter of this simulation, coming together through this platform, allowing for many a different kind of dialogue, with the biggest obstacle being trust. Before coming to here, I never thought that I'll be discussing the conflict with the Israeli side. I'm always discussing with the Palestinian side, same perspectives, and then after hearing their perspectives, and I was like kind of surprised that the Israeli side, actually we have some people that really care about the other side, and they don't want all these actions, clashes, violence. And after a grueling 48 hours, a peace deal was reached. I honestly, at the beginning of the conference, did not expect it because, like, there was some hitting moments. But eventually, ended up with a resolution, like actual peace agreement, and it was it was very. I was very very pleased. I was very satisfied. The problem is not the starting point. The problem is our attitude. And if I had a chance to say something to a real politician, it's not to be discouraged by what sometimes someone said but rather be concerned about what someone thinks and how can we address his way of thinking. This is the moment where each of the groups signs their peace agreement. You can feel the excitement in the air. But for most of these students, the biggest take home is the way they now view the dispute, as well as understanding the perspective of the other side. We need trust between each other. And if we understand them, we actually can make uh, peace between each other. Their youthful perspective is not lost on these students, but they say the advantage is that it brings creativity and a sense of possibility. I guess a lot of politicians are very comfortable with remaining with the known status quo rather than going a bit to the unknown is something that I think terrifies them. Living and breathing this conflict every day, they're desperate for change. But with age on their side, is there real hope that they'll see a peace deal signed within their lifetimes? Yes. I believe in it. Honestly, <laughs> uh, that's a good question, but honestly, I, I hope, I really, really want to. I have my own doubts and my own hopes, but I really hope so that it would happen. Tracy Alexander, I-24 News. Now joining me in studio is Tzili Charney, one of the founders of this amazing, amazing program. Do you still believe there can be a peace agreement? I hope so. <laughs> why, did you, why, is this, why was this set up? 
Um, I built this center for my husband, uh, Leon Charney, who was involved in the uh, Camp, da uh, Camp David treatment between Israel and Egypt. Um, he was ill in the last few years, so uh, I wanted to create an envir environment for him um, with his uh, favorite issues that would address his uh, intellect and ego and put it together with these kids in this place so they can uh, enjoy him and he can work with them. How do the um, kids first react to one another? Before they sit down? Before this one? Yeah. How do they react to one another when they first get together? Well, the thing is that they live together. Yeah. They study together, they live together. Um, so it's basically they're okay. They never had to confront each other over any, anything. Um, the reason that I wanted to create this Congress and uh, do it uh, with every year, uh, because every year you have different students, it's to basically allow them to confront um, the reality where they come from, because uh, not as other schools of the IB program, they are in the middle of the region, they have Israelis, Palestinians, Israeli Arabs. Yeah. Uh, this is the real thing. Um, and I think that it's very important to let them experience what the grown-ups are experienced, to understand that as much as we're all the same, there's nothing the same and it's not that simple. Uh, to listen to themselves, to listen to the others, to, um, to figure out how to face things, and I think they're grown up enough in order to handle it on on certain level. On certain level that, um, that, no, and I, th I think it's a remarkable, remarkable, remarkable endeavor um, that, and one that is very important for the second generation. Sili Charney, thank you so you're much. You're very welcome. We'll be right back.